Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to the Pitfall channel, formerly known as the Gentleman's Pick Shop. Yes, we have played so many Pitfall games over the past few days. You know what? I think it's time for another one. Let's play Pitfall 3D on the Mr. FPGA, recreating the original and perhaps the greatest PlayStation that ever existed. Now, this game is a kind of a request game. Um, there's been some comments in the Pitfall video that we did um, a little while ago, and this was, I, I take it as a request, and this was a request from Pentelway. He says the Pitfall game on the PS1 was great as well on the Pitfall video that we did, so I thought without further ado, let's get on, and let's actually see what this is like on the PlayStation. So here we go. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. Can you double check your subscriptions are still active? All right, so we've got choices here. We've got up, down, down, and down. Now we've got a uh, new game. So we're going to select a brand new game. And our hero has jumped into the screen. So I have got no idea what to expect here. I really haven't. It's from Activision. We've got a little intro, so let, 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 let me zip it for this intro. I don't look for adventure, sometimes it just finds me. Like when I was swinging through the South American jungle and I saw this glimmer. Yeah, a crystal. And when I grabbed it, a rift opened up. Out popped, whoa, Mira. Cute little mocha. She started gabbing on about this pure energy stuff called lucence that comes in two flavors. The blue stuff's good, and the red's no cherry. Now one moku got a little too excited with the red lucence and turned into the scourge. With the red lucents, the scourge imprisoned all of the mokus and put a force stone over the city. The rift started closing. Hey, beautiful girl, suicide mission, I'm in. So there we go. He's jumped into beyond the jungle. And is he going to talk again? No, you need to travel through the wilderness. And you know who he reminds me of with that commentary and that voice? Ash from the Evil Dead. It feels like this version of Pitfall Harry is basically Ash from the Evil Dead, just by the way he talks and speaks. So basically, we've got to head north until we hit Hair City, uh, enter a rift to take us to Shrenek. And there we go. There we go. All right. So how do we move? Left, right, up, down. we got to jump. Huh. Fire to hit things. All right, let's go. It's showtime. Oh, that's our first obstacle. Yes, we're a master game player here at that, aren't we? Oh, is that something to hit? Can we hit the rocks? Oh, that flying thing attacked me, didn't it? All right, so I see I've collected 18 blue things so far. I guess that is good. It looks like we have got five lives. All right, okay. How do we fill up the red stuff? How do we fill up the red stuff? Oh no, that hurts. All right, I've got to be more aware of stuff like that. Oh, no, no, we need to jump. No. That's jump. For one moment I expected these platforms to disappear, but no they haven't, so that's okay. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh. That was a bit of a fall, wasn't it? Alright, let's get used to this. It's absolutely incredible on the Mr. FPJ you can play old great PlayStation games. You know, it just works so well, it really, really does. Oh, big jump. Okay, I'm guessing these icons on the ground aren't going to exist forever. It's just to help us learn what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, we've we got to go up there. Oh, you could change your swing. Oh, holy hell. God, that, that's going to give you a bit of a, uh, a seizure, isn't it? Right, okay, stop, 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 stop before I have a seizure on camera. There we go, there we go. Big jump. I think that red thing must be a checkpoint. What on the what killed me there? Oh, a hole! Huh. A hole! The holes open up. Ah, oh, Pollux! Right, let's touch that again. All right. It's a little bit finicky the controls to get used to. I think we're going to be alright. 
<laughs> it's awesome. Yes. Yes. I love the audio on this. The speech you did at the beginning. Oh no, 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 no. Right, that killed that flying thing of death. It probably wants us to go into that. Oh, okay. I get it. The crystals give me health. Oh, okay, gives us health. Fine, that's fine. Oh, jump. Alright, let's get some health. Fill up our health. Learn the jump button. Oh, I missed one. Alright, time to exit. Vamoose must mean exit. Does it mean exit? I don't know. Okay, look at this. So we got 57. I'm sorry. Yeah, 57 somethings times 10. Um, okay, so 57 crystals. We killed five darters and no scorpions. Um, okay, yeah, let's save this. Yes. So that's another great thing about the Mr. FPJ. It allows you to save. You don't need any uh, PlayStation 1 cards because they won't fit into the Mr. FPJ, but it all works within the core. And you've got a level password as well. So if you want to be as brilliant as me or the guy on the left of the screen there, that's the password. That is the password to use. All right, continue. Continue. It's all a bit dark behind me now, isn't it? Okay, we need you to find a way to break the full stone. Yes, of course. You find many full stones in jungles. The temple is the key, but it requires power from something. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we're not going to read them because we've missed a few of them. You can read them if you choose. That doesn't look natural in a jungle. Why would they now build that? Having some fun. Okay, are we, though? Are we having fun? I don't even know what that does we've got here. Okay, we're going to run across all of these. And we made it. Oh, is that going to help us? I'm trying to get to that. No, okay. Alright, that looks like it was a shield that I've stupidly used. I'm just trying the other buttons. Right, the camera angle appears to be fixed with nothing that I can do to change it. So it seems to be switching to the direction that it wants you to go. Alright, grab that. Grab that. Because they make prizes. Points make prizes. Let's go this way. Why won't you die? Why won't you die? How do you kill those little bastards? Oh, mother hell! I actually don't know how to kill them. They are very strong. They are too strong. Alright, let's get another crystal. Oh, paths are appearing. Yes. Oh, no, no, hang on, what's this? Oh, everything wants to kill me. I'm trying to hit. I'm trying to hit that guy, but I can't do it. Alright, we need health. We need health. Maybe there's health this way. Oh great, now we've got turrets shooting at us. How easy we die. Those scorpions are not easy to kill. You know, that's Steven Seagulls. They're hard to kill. Alright, yeah, that works with a hit. That stops that. Oh, which way? Ah, oh, it's gotta be that way. Yes, let's go that Oh that what's that on the wall there? Hmm, let's go this way. Oh yes. This looks like one of those old game shows you used to get on TV where you've got to avoid things to stop falling in the water. Of course, they didn't have spikes quite as lethal as this. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, we, we, we've done that way. 
Now we're going to go that way. Oh, that's what well, everything. Everything wants to kill you in this bloody jungle. All right, yeah, missiles are natural, aren't they? All right, survived that one. It's just going to be little footsteps. Is that somewhere we can go? Oh, hello, Kong. What are you doing? Ha <laughs> Got ya. Okay. We are... We are the beta of apes. Loser. Yeah, we're gonna be a loser until we get a, a health. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I wonder. No. That was bad wandering. Right, back here again, back here at our restart point. Look, nice. So, we've killed that already and it's persistently stayed dead. Nice. Now, was there something south here? No. Continues left to continue play. Yes, we want to continue play. I look down at my joystick and I'm basically using an 8-bit duo that you can see here and of course it doesn't have an X on it for the continue play so I'm hitting continue play and I figure oh that might be restart that could be bad all right back through here where were where did we kill those apes Ah, this is that bloody scorpion. Right, let's try and get past the scorpion. Right, yes, yes, yes. No! Oh, mother buttons. Oh, come on, get on it, you daft man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't go. No, just don't do that, Scorpion. Yes. All right. Oh, I ran too much. Okay, you know but this game as you go further through it is going to be a pixel perfect nightmare oh come on come on come on there we go oh those pissing scorpions Oh, there's a roll. We've got a roll. Oh, we've got a roll. Oh, that helped us. Whoa. Oh, holy hell. This is hard. This is hard. Come on. Give me my platform. Huh. Maybe it wasn't there. Oh, it's going to be a jumpy one. Oh, and that's... Oh, we didn't jump. Huh. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Away from the scorpion. Whoa. Yes, we continue. Huh. This game is going to create all kinds of stress. Okay. Aha, right, okay. Huh, huh, huh. 
So if you hold the roll button, you can kill the little bastards. So you can roll or crouch and uh, that's how you do it. All right, we are learning, we are learning. We are not learning. And I love the fact they stay dead. I've mentioned that before, but permadeath is great for the enemies. It takes some of the repetition away. Yes. You're gonna die, you're gonna die, you know it, but at least you're trying. Oh, you're not, oh, what the blazes it's for you. Hello. I am the monkey slayer. Oh no. The paths are quite linear in terms of it's actually quite helpful where you go with the big icons. I'm surprised they're still on the ground at the moment. You know, pointing you where you need to go. So, you know, it's uh, it's basically, you keep going forward, follow the icons. Ah. Huh. Huh. Alright. Oh, do I need to touch that again? Doesn't matter, I have done. Okay, missile time. And a scorpion on the floor. Well, I've got you, only got me once, so it's okay. Oh, Rixie Bridges. And now, it, oh, it looks like we're sort of back in the jungle. What, what's there? Oh, some missiles. All right, it looks like we're sort of back in the jungle now. Okay, and we've got holes, holes to bother us. Right, are we ready? Three, two, one, jump, yes. Touch whatever that is. Oh, there's an extra life there amongst all those missiles. Yes. What is that doing that? Okay, well, one got me, one got me. Okay. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, yes, burnt feet. You know, I don't know what's more concerning the amount of monkeys we're killing as we are the monkey slayer or monkeys near fire. Gold, yes. Oh, I thought that was a weapon. I thought that was a big club we could swap our, our little knife for. All right. Come on, move. Oh, let's fill up fully. It looks almost as like a went to be a word in that red. Or I can't make it out if there is. Harry knows when to do. All right, so okay, we we have found two of the four crystals. I'll save this game. Uh, yes. So that that that's an in-level save point. A little reminiscent of the early Tomb Raider games, if I remember, where you had to collect um, eggs or something for save points. If you did it at the wrong time, you were truly screwed with the amount of um, retracing your steps you had to do. Oh, let's touch that. Nope. Oh, it's getting busy now, isn't it? Holy hell. Right, no wonder there was a save point there. Stop it. Stop it. Ah, oh, right. Rope. <laughs> A rope into street lights. Now this clearly is nothing to do with the monkeys. 
Ah, and we're gone, and we're gone. We die so easy. Come on, kill, kill, kill the blue things of death. Come on, get nearer. It Whoa. feels like the paths that you're on Whoa. are a little bit rigid in terms of Ah, uh, not that. In terms of ha how you can move. So, although it's a 3D environment, there are limits to places where you can go. Whoa. See, it pushes you back from there, but I think I've got to be more in the centre to stand on this perfectly. There we go. Because I think that is a trigger for the rope. Alright, how did we die before? Whoa. What happened? Oh, yeah. Okay, probably that. Probably that happened. Alright, the Mr. FBJ, you are a beautiful machine for allowing us to do all this wonderful, wonderful recreations. Whoa. Although I am not beautiful at my gameplay. Come on, come on, come Whoa. on. Down. Oh no, down, down, down. Whoa. Oh, come on. How did I do that? How did I do that? Game over. Ah, oh. so we didn't do too well there. We died, but we're going to have another go at loading this in. I think it will allow us to load in. So load game, scan in memory card. Please work, please work. There we go. Pitfall level two. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice chance to progress from where you are. I, I, I like that mid-level save. Only if it puts us back where I'm expecting to be put back. It better do. It better do. All right. Let's go again. Yes, yes, yes. Comic book story. We don't care for that. We want to play the game. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Here we are. Good, good, good. Let's get rid of those guys. Jump. We know how to jump now. We've got to get this bit right. We've done this bit wrong a little bit. Big jump. There we go. Big jump again. As we bounce Whoa. off the rocks. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay, let's go that way. Play some more monkeys. I am the monkey killer still. Who's next? Yes, who is next? You would have thought they would have been enough to punch us with a little bit more might than what they do. But no, we'll take that. Oh, a jump, a jump. I've just seen the health that I never got. Oh, mother hell, I was doing so well. I thought, yeah, let's just go with the flow. Let's go. Ah, let's do it. Oh. You know what? No, there is no more health. There is no more health, but that's fine. Oh, why do I get that wrong? Are oh, you pile of death? Right, there we go. Yeah, no, it's like oh, I waited that time. 
Right, patience is a virtue. We got a boot, we got a boot. Do we go left? No, we... Do we go left? No, we don't, we fall. Oh, you idiot. You utter bag of idiot. All right, we're gonna have one more go. One more go from that save point. We deserve to have one more go. Load game. It's rather jolly though. This is rather jolly. I think we're at the end of the Pitfall games we'll be playing for a while. But no, this is a, a little jolly to be doing here. And it's different. It's still Pitfall, but it's different from the standard Atari 2600 version. Which makes it good, because it might show you a game you've not seen before. All right, while we wait for this story to go, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I really, really do. Here we go. Right, let's see whether this guy is going to have a fantastic day. Right, there's one more. There's one more blue thing. All right, that's gone. Nice safe jump. One, two, three, jump. <clears throat> Alright, we can recharge our health once we fight a few monkeys. Who's next? Health, I think, next. There we go. Yes, are oh, indeed. Ah. Oh. Oh, what the blazes? I could do that last time. There you go. This was the one that we had to wait for. Oh no, it was the next one. It was the next one that gave us trouble before. So we're going to wait a little bit. Let him keep his balance. Okay, go down. We can get an extra life. Oh, yes. Now I think this is where we died before. Oh, we only just did that one. Oh, there's something different about this one. Mother hen! Why would it do that? If you like Tomb Raider, this game is absolutely going to appeal to you. And the camera angles seem to really work on it as well. As we're seeing, you know, we haven't had any funky camera angles that screw up your gameplay. So no, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm not very good at it, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, what? No. I should have come off that pretty much immediately. All right. Okay, this is our last life. This is our last life to do. I think I know what to do if we can make it that far. So we're going to be a little bit more cautious. 
although there still might be one more life. I don't know whether that boot router set is saying, yeah, you've got one more screw up to do or you are on your last screw up. Huh. Right, south, wait. Look how he wobbles on that platform. Huh. Oh, okay, I don't like this one. Huh. Right, this is where we're going to jump and immediately go right. Huh. Huh. Okay, somehow we survived that nightmare. Okay, is that... Oh, no, ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna smash you into the ground. Oh, do we want to go this way? I suppose we do. Oh, we were so lucky. Oh, I tried to land on it. And that was our last screw up. That was our last screw up. And this finally is game over. So Pitfall Beyond the Jungle in 3D. This is a very good game. And as final thoughts, you know, if you want to play old games, the Mr. FPGA is a great system to be doing this. And this is just an example of myself. I've played probably maybe five hours worth of gaming in my lifetime, but I'd never seen or heard of this till we had um, the comment on uh, the other Pitfall video that we did. And when you bring me new games to play, I do like doing them. I do look at doing them. And you know, so this is your game we won't do if we get asked to do. But no, this has been worth my time, my efforts, and yeah, I consider this value for money. Another video on the channel that costs you absolutely nothing because we are not monetized or anything like that. So theoretically, you shouldn't have adverts annoying the hell of you. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. All of you stay safe. All of you take care. And I'll see you in the next video that I guarantee is not going to be a pitfall video. Goodbye. Please subscribe. And make sure you like this video.